Weekend Update with Luciano Perzoco and Johnny O'Keefe. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Luciano Perzoco. And I'm Johnny O'Keefe. Let's first look at Aristotle. One of Aristotle's greatest contributions to science is his idea of the four elements. Ripping off the Nickelodeon show Avatar The Last Airbender, <laughs> he believed that the four elements are fire, water, earth, and air. He believed that each element had a natural motion, like a rock falling downwards or the Beatles breaking up after Yoko Ono started dating John Lennon. <laughs> Aristotle is also known for his work in the field of epistemology. He put forth his doctrine of four causes, which says that each object has a material, formal, efficient, and final cause. The final cause of an object is the end or the sake of which something is done. For example, the final cause of a plant is to become a full-grown plant, and the final cause of a chicken is to become McNuggets. <laughs> World-renowned astronomer Ptolemy released an astronomically complex illustration of our universe about 2,000 years ago. He received a lot of recognition for his accomplishments, but the fame seemingly got to his head. The whole situation was pretty self-centered. <laughs> Crazily enough, it would take over 1,500 more years until another geocentric model was legitimately challenged, when Nicholas Copernicus proposed the heliocentric model. This idea was certainly revolutionary. <laughs> we now turn to Tycho Brahe. Tycho was an eccentric figure who, among other things, domesticated a pet moose that he often gave alcohol. <laughs> the moose fell down a flight of stairs and broke its leg. The moose was spotted in Mod 22A last weekend. <laughs> Brahe also lost his nose in a drunken duel. It is still unclear if the other party of the duel was a member of PETA. <laughs> Aside from his most well-known accomplishment in 1975, when he was referenced in Freddie Mercury's hit song, Bohemian Rhapsody, <laughs> Galileo has also done some other cool stuff. Take, for instance, his captivating work with inertia. I don't know about you, but when I get rolling in that reading, I just can't sit still. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton is best known for his Principia. In this volume, he was able to provide definitions for seemingly basic phenomena such as mass, momentum, inertia, force, and motion. People seem to really gravitate towards this work. <laughs> Newton also proved that white light is actually a combination of all other colors on the spectrum with his double prism experiment. He allowed a ray of sunlight to come through his window and refract through two prisms. We thank him for shedding some light on the situation. <laughs> Charles Lyell is often considered to be one of the greatest geologists of his time. His highly cited idea of uniformitarianism rocked the science world in the 19th century. <laughs> I can only imagine how annoying it would be going out with the boys every Saturday night. All night, all you would hear is, yo boys, take a look at this. Isn't it awesome? It's a rock. <laughs> in other words, he had no friends. <laughs> Today, we're lucky enough to have one of the greatest natural scientists in history. He rivals Aquaman for his time spent on water. <laughs> Please welcome Charles Darwin. Thank you, Charles, for joining us today. Well, it's a pleasure, boys. I'm back from the old Galapagos, or as the natives say, Galapagos. <laughs> Charles, what was your favorite thing to research during your voyage? Good question, Johnny. Well, the plants and mammals were wonderful to study. But this, but those insects, well, they were really bugging me by the end of it. <laughs> it's, it's very nice, very nice. What was the hardest part of your expedition? Well, I was extremely seasick the first few months of travel and could barely move on the boat without throwing up. Talk about the struggle for existence. <laughs> cool. In the future, do you see any variations that will give some humans a slight advantage over others? What a weirdly specific question, Johnny. Well, I'm not sure, but if it's up to my beautiful, voluminous sideburns, my offspring will rule the world! A cricket? I'm studying its breeding patterns. <laughs> Someone's never been sexually selected. Charles Darwin, everyone! From Weekend Update, I'm Johnny O'Keefe. And I'm Luciano Pacheco. Have a good night.